In this lesson, we'll go and see some of the more options that we can use with the debugging and how to use some of the function that is available on our debugger on Dynamic X. So let's go and start. And first, we will remove the debugging or the breakpoint from over here. And uh, basically, we have some of the you can see some of the option over here uh, for this is to run uh, the go and we have a toggle breakpoint and we have enable or disable a breakpoint and remove all breakpoints so if you click on remove all then all of the breakpoint will be removed and if you said uh, enable uh, uh, enable uh, enable or uh, disable breakpoint and we also have a toggle breakpoint so we can see uh, we, when we click on the toggle breakpoint, then wherever the cursor is, then it will uh, trigger a put a breakpoint for us. So like uh, let's say our cursor is over here, and if you say then then we have a breakpoint over here, and this, uh, you can remove remove the uh, enable or disable breakpoint through using this option. Or we have a command button over here. Uh, you can enable or disable a breakpoint. So uh, the next thing is that we can remove all of the uh, breakpoints from using this command button. And uh, if you go over here, uh, let's try to uh, debug or put a breakpoint over here. And let us launch our debugger. Mm -hmm. So I will just uh, click on the go button over here. And now in the debugger uh, window over here, we have a new window that is a dynamic exit debugger. Uh, we have one breakpoint over here and we have uh, let's see it's the same option over here uh, insert a breakpoint and we have enable or disable breakpoint or uh, remove all and disable all breakpoint yeah we have some of the option that uh, i hope when you see this option that you already know because we already know that insert breakpoint and enable or disable we also saw from over here the uh, main thing that we have to take note is on this side over here uh, the step uh, step into and a step over and also a step out so we'll be using a, a three this and we also have a so next statement but basically we will be using one two three options so how to use this uh, three options let's go and see so if you want to uh, try it out you can just uh, insert our uh, insert a breakpoint is the same and if you want to disable the breakpoint then you can disable it and if you want to remove all of the breakpoint then breakpoint got removed so let's insert a a breakpoint over here and we can use this option which is a step over or we can press a F10 and just pre, uh, click on this button and now our code is over here it's going to point pointing to a, another method so it's actually pointing to our class which has a method so if we directly click on the step over or if we click on F10 then it uh, jump out or go to the next line of the code and doesn't go inside this method and because uh, we don't have any breakpoint over here that's why it's not going so so basically it's a step over uh, go to the next statement or next line of code and basically that ends uh, one two uh, with, a, with a three statement or a three uh, step over then we are over to uh, we have closed our debugger so what if we want to go inside this me this method which is an uh, method add if you want to go inside and see what's uh, what's going on over there so how we can do that instead of coming here and adding a breakpoint over here so we can also directly go from here so how we can do that so just run a debugger one more time and here what we'll do is go to the step over step over to the next statement over here and in from here what we have to instead of using a step over we will use a step into so which is a shortcut key of f11 or we can also use from step into so which means we will step inside this and we'll go to that method so you can see it's go it goes inside that add method so basically we don't have a breakpoint but still when we step inside uh, when we use a step into then we go into this method so we can say uh, next line of code and next line of code and again next line and again next so it's again go back over here so basically that ends our uh, debugger and the next option that we still have to use is uh, let's try one more time uh, let's run this and now we'll be using a uh, step out so let's go to uh, step next uh, step over 
and we have this method let's go inside this method so we'll use a step into and we'll go to next line of code step over and now we want to exit out of this code so we don't want to execute this return statement so for that we'll use uh, this step out so step out will uh, get out of the uh, current current uh, execution flow so we are here and next should be here right so if you want to uh, we don't want to go to this statement and we, we want to go back to the main statement so we will step out so we want to step out and get out of the current debugging and we'll go to the main main debugger point so that's uh, we will be using uh, step out and step over and step into so basically three things that we will be using are uh, very frequent when we are doing a debugging so uh, just click on step over and that's in our debugging window so this is how we can perform up uh, some uh, debugging using a, a shortcut key or also a debug command over there and let's uh, run one more time our code over here and let's try to uh, maximize this and we have some of the uh, window down over here uh, if you see here the context and you can see if you go to the next statement so here you can see the context of the demo class the type uh, type of the things that we are is a demo class and inside this demo class what are the things we have a first name age last name right so basically this context window will show all of the detail about the uh, object that we have created we have created a new object and inside this we have the in age this is a class variable like right? uh, class variable that we learned previously about the age first name and you know? last name we have defined this in the class label and on this side we have a path where uh, the current part where is it and if we step uh, step into let's go to step into then we see that the first it was in this uh, job and we have job five and next we are in the, currently in a, a class so it's if you go inside this and we have the type of context is a variable a b visual and this is definitely the class over here the instance of the class and we also have a one more window which is watcher one or watcher so we what we can do is over here uh, we can uh, watch this variable so let's uh, we want to watch this uh, add us uh, add to watch list so the add a the value you can see is 10 and if you click on uh, on the b over here and as to watch list you have a b to watch list so if you also want to watch the return uh, let's add to over here so this is a watch list so current value for our a is 10 and b is and 20 and if you go to step over and now currently result is zero and if we again step over now you can see the result is becoming 30 and also that what we can also do at the same time over here is uh, you can also edit the values over here so currently 10 20 so let's uh, finish this first uh, let us finish and run and everything and let's try to one more time and uh, step over and step into into this method and let's we have a 10 and 20 so actually we can change the value from here to let's say uh, 100 and here let's say about the uh, 203 and uh, let's uh, step over and now you see the value is changed for a to 100 and uh, the value of b is 203 basically first we uh, when we had a value we had a 10 and 20 that we are sending from our uh, the initialized value that 10 and 20 that we have sent as a parameter but here we have an option to change the value right so that's the great thing that we can do over here we can manipulate the value over here and we can test our and um, the things that we can pass the parameter all of the things that we can be done over from here then that's a great point of the uh, dynamic x debugger and if we again click on the step over and you can see the result has now become a uh, 
303 instead of the 30 because we passed 10 and 20 previously as a parameter but we change the value over here and we also change uh, with that definitely will change the uh, result of our uh, return type which is an integer and if you click on uh, the step over and you can see result will become 303 so that's a very good point uh, that we have in dynamic x and i would like you guys to go and test more and how we can use uh, debugging this is a uh, very uh, needed so whenever we have our uh, creating a class or whenever we are writing some project debugging is a must so whenever we want to debug anything we have found some error and we don't know from where that error is coming out so we have to use a debugger so debugging is a save life saver for a developer so i hope you guys uh, have understanding over here and if you still have some question do let me know and i will see you in the next video till then have a great day